Good day. How to solve this problem? 8 raised to power x plus 9 equals to 9 raised to power x plus 8. From here, we can rewrite this as 8 raised to power x multiplied by 8 raised to power 9. Then also on this side, we have 9 raised to power x multiplied by 9 raised to power 8. This is from the law of indices. And uh, yeah, let's divide this side, both sides by 9 raised to power x. So as to remove 9 raised to power x on this side, then we divide both sides by 9 raised to power x. And uh, also, we want to remove this 8 raised to power 9 on this side. Then divide both sides as well by 8 raised to power 9. And uh, we have this. So that 8 raised to power 9 we can't see each other here. And 9 raised to power x we can't see each other here. And what we have on this side is now 8 raised to power x divided by 9 raised to power x. Then equals to what will be left on this side. That's 9 raised to power 8 divided by 8 raised to power 9. And from here, we can write what we have here again from the law of indices that when we have a raised to power x over b raised to power x, we can write it together as a over b then a raised to power x. So when we apply that here, so we have 8 over 9 then a raised to power x then equals to from here, we can still write it like that. That's 9 raised to power 8 divided by 8 raised to power 9. And then we can introduce log on both sides. So when we find the log on both sides, take the log on both sides. We have log 8 over 9 all raised to power x equals to log 9 raised to power 8 over 8 raised to power 9. So we have taken the log on both sides. And from here, the law of log reading, the power here can be taken to the back. That is, when we have log m raised to power p, we can take this p to the back here, and we have p log m. So from here now, when we apply this, this will become x log 8 over 9, then equals to log 9 raised to power 8 over 8 raised to power 9. Now, from here, we can also apply the law of log reading and separate this log. When we have log m over n, we can separate it into two log, and this will become log m minus log n. So, when we apply that here, this will become x into bracket log 8 then minus log 9 we have separated this and then also on this side we can separate it as well and we have log 9 raised to power 8 minus log 8 raised to power 9 and then since we are finding the value of x we can divide both sides by log 8 minus log 9 so dividing both sides by log 8 minus log 9 and also divide this side by log 8 minus log 9 and this we cancel each other here so what we have left on this side we become x equals to then also applying power law from here this power of 8 can come to the back we have 8 log 9 then minus this power of 9 come to the back we have 9 log 8 then divided by log 8 minus log 9 then we can simplify this further by reducing this and write 9 and 8 to the base of a number so we have x equals to we have 8 log then can be expressed as 3 squared, then minus 9 log 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 3, then divided by, also in this side we have log 
it can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 3, then minus log, then as well, two raised to, 3 raised to the power 2. Then, also applying the law, the power law, we take the power to the back, we have x is now equals to, these two come and multiply this 8, we have 16 log 3 now, then minus, this 3 multiply now, we have 27 now, then log 2, then divided by, we have this power of 3 come to the back, and that's 3 log 2, then minus, this power of 2 come to the back, we have 2, then log 3. And then when we substitute the value of log 3 and log 2 from here, and then we substitute back there, log 3 is given to be 0 0.4771. And log 2 is same thing as 0 0.301. So when we substitute the value of this log here and we simplify, we get an approximate value of x to be 9.6367. And uh, this approximate value of x is therefore the solution to this problem thank you for watching also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now